don't care what you're facing. Don't let it rule you. Let it have its moments. Even if, you know, every day you got to give yourself the same scriptures, give yourself the same pep talk, call the same friends and be like, look, this is what I'm dealing with again. Can you pour into me? Do it. So many people are depressed. That happens to people. You are not alone. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, the Soren Seward family. Happy Friday. It's Friday mommy moment with me. And if it's your first time here, stop. Don't think that you need to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. And if you haven't smashed that subscribe button, please do us a favor, smash that subscribe button and make sure that all your notification bells are on so you're notified whenever we upload a video. The first thing that we do on Friday Mommy Moments is give out shout outs. Today we're doing shout outs a little different. Everybody that I shout out, you will get to see their channel pop up. And if they don't have a YouTube and they're just a person who likes to come to YouTube, watch my videos and support us, you will just see their name pop up with a comment that they have left. So let's get right into the Friday shout outs, you guys. The first person that we have is Oh, Mad Caroline. If you guys do not know her, please go and see her. She is so amazing and I'm thankful for you, Oh, Mad Caroline. The second person that we have is Jesse Robert Gaza. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but you can see his channel from here. Make sure that you go and check him out. The third person is Blessed and Beautifully Blended. Sis, thank you so much for all your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The fourth person is the Benefield Bunch. You guys have been so awesome. Thank you for all the support and all the encouragement. And we have Fun With The Girls, AKA Bree. She is so amazing. Thank you for all the messages and continuing to be a part of my life. I really appreciate you. And also, last, we have Carter's Eats. Thank you so very, very much for your lives. You are doing absolutely amazing. You guys, all these channels that you just saw, please take time to go and visit them and let them know that the Soren Seward family said, hello. Now let's get into our Friday topic. And you guys already know, I got my coffee, you go and grab your beverage and whatever you need to come and spend a moment with me. You don't wanna miss this. I have a few videos coming where I took you guys along with me with a process or an event in my life that me and my family had to deal with. Um, actually, we've been dealing with it for three years, but you guys are only gonna get to see a few weeks of it put into a YouTube video. I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm actually nervous to share it with you guys, but I can't wait to share it with you guys because I pray that it blesses someone. Now, as you can see from the title, what if I'm dying? You're probably like, what? What do you mean? I have a video when I first went for my follow-up where I was avoiding the hospital for like two years because they had found something on my ovaries and I didn't go back like I was supposed to. I did a video about when I finally went and what they found. And I have also took you guys with me for the follow-ups and the end of result of that. But something happened where my husband said, um, cause I was really nervous. Um, it was a trying time for me. Everybody process things different. And I wanna say this and put this out there for those, for you believers. I know there's people that everybody have a different source of faith and things that they do. But when your faith is tested, I don't want you to feel like you're doing something wrong. You are human. You are human. And as we go through things in life, our faith gets stronger. During the trying time where my faith was being tested, my husband said, babe, we have to pass one day. And I'm looking at him like, and it just come out, kind of just came out all natural. And I'm like, what? And he's all like, you know, one day we're gonna die. He's like, it's no way to avoid it. 
every time we go for our physicals and every time we go for our updates and by God's grace, everything seems to be good. But he just asked me the question and he was like, what if when you go, it's not? And that put me in a place where I was just like, I don't, I don't know. He was like, no matter what the doctors say or what they find, whether you're gonna need the surgery or whatever, he was like, God is still God. And that set different for me because when you don't know what's coming around the corner or when the doctors can't figure it out, it can kind of mess with your mental, your emotional state and just put you in a weird space. And I've been in a weird space. I reached out to a couple of my friends and I was able to share with them what was going on. And of course, everybody prayed and everybody is just, you know, being a support system. It's so important to have a strong support system when you're weak. And weak, I don't mean you're like, oh my God, my life is over or, you know, not like that. Just somebody to hold your hand, somebody to say, look, we gonna go through this together. And I'm thankful that I, I have that. And sometimes people don't have that and they look to YouTube and they look for, um, YouTubers to give them encouragement and I pray that you find that here. What if you go there and it's not the report that you're expecting? And honestly, I think it would affect me. I think I would cry. I think I would feel sad. I guess that comes with crying. I think I would have to have plenty of talks with God and I would have to give myself just shove the Bible down my throat, get as many scriptures as I can. But what then? God is still God. We might not always get the report that we want, but the truth of the matter is this life that we have, it's not forever. Our children as we see them, and the people that we're around, our family, our friends, they're not forever. We all will pass and when I think about it, it's hard for me to think about because I don't want to think about it. Because I, I want to be around to see all my girls get married, see my son get married, play with my grandchildren. I want to be around for a while. I want to experience all that life has for me. That's not everybody's calling. You know, the other day I'm watching the news and I see this young lady she has a stroke and died the day of her wedding. So when I see things like that, you know, I start to pray. Sometimes I might worry. I'm like, God, please let my daughters be able to live a fruitful life. Please let my son be able to do the things that his heart desires. Please let them know you. And the thing is, you ask yourself, what if you die? We're all dying every day. We don't know the time or the day when it will be time for us to pass on. And one day, something may happen. One day that report from the doctor might not be so great. One day somebody we love, husbands, wives, children, anybody, when we wake up, they might not wake up with us. And these are things that people try to avoid and not think about. But these past few weeks, I have thought about it when it came to them saying that my mom had cancer on her ovaries and I prayed, I went over to her door and I prayed over her door every single night. And then for three weeks, the results come and there was nothing there, I found nothing. Thank you God, she's already dealing with enough. What if you're dying? You are dying. Our bodies are not meant to last forever. And the time that we have right now we need to cherish it. And this video is not meant to get you all worried, get you all scared and things like that. This video is not only for you, it's for me. As I went into the doctor, I had to get my, my mind in order and, and pray. I'm like, God, whatever they say, you're still God. What I wanna tell you is I want you to be great. Whether you're healthy or you're sick, I want you to be great. I want you to feel loved. I want you to know that you are loved. I want you to try to fulfill everything 
that you have placed in your heart to do. I wish that I can just reach through and hug some of the people who leave these comments and who reaches out and pour their heart out. You are not alone struggling with weight, being a mother, addiction, all these things, you're not alone. We all have something going on. We don't need to have a report from the doctor to feel like we're dying. Some of us is feeling it right now. And I want to let you know that you are great. And God is still God. And that's what was on my heart today. Thank you so much for allowing me to come and share with you. I pray, yes, I pray that you was able to receive. Hmm. Let me know how you're feeling. Let me know your thoughts about this video. Drop a comment down below. I'm always open to hearing what anybody has to say. Just keep it respectful. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys so much, you guys. We are growing and I appreciate every single one of you that take the time out to come and spend with us and love on our family. We appreciate you. So you guys, I will see you next Friday. Until then, go be great, stay encouraged, and reach out if you need to. And if you still haven't subscribed to our channel, smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you're notified whenever we upload a video. I will see you guys next week. Stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember that here you are always needed. Peace out.